Hi there, Perfecto De Castro here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so it's about time for me to release another Floyd Rose string change video. This way I get to show off some cool new tools that will help uh, ease the pain of this whole Floyd Rose string changing process. Now, that being said, this video is not sponsored, so I will have affiliate links to everything that I use in the video description, so please check it out. Buying from these links are of no extra cost to you and the small commission that I get helps me keep making these videos for everybody to enjoy. Okay, so on the bench is my Harley Benton Fusion 3 HHFR. I have a show tomorrow in Houston, Texas, playing for Pinoy Rock Review, and I want to make sure that my guitar is in tip-top shape with fresh strings so that I get to enjoy the gig. So for the strings, I will be installing this set of Soles strings from Brazil. This is my second time using these strings and I like them very much. I particularly like that they come with extra first and second strings. Check it out. So this is the high E and in the packet you get <laughs> two strings right there. And then the B string, you also get two strings, and for the rest, singles. So G, single D, single A, single low E. So you can bend and <laughs> pull and mangle those strings to your heart's content. And as long as you break the first or second strings, then you are covered. Okay, now the other cool new tool that I wanted to show you is this tremolo buddy. I met these guys at the last NAMM show back in June. This uh, handy little contraption will be available, or actually they, it is already available from all Floyd Rose dealers everywhere. I got mine from Amazon. And the way this works is you have a clamp that allows you to secure the tremolo body to the body of your guitar. And the second cam will um, keep the whammy bar itself from pulling back when you loosen the strings. Okay, so let me do that right now. Okay, so there it is. Then push down on this clamp right here, make sure it is secure. Now at any point in this video, if I stop talking because I am concentrating on the task at hand, then please enjoy the background music. The way you want to do this is make sure that um, the Floyd Rose is in the zero position. Then position your whammy bar by the second cam and then push it down. And then make sure that when you push it down, the Floyd Rose is still in the zero position. That way, when you loosen the strings, you keep the springs from pulling the bridge back. Okay, so that's a little too loose. So I'm gonna push it down a little bit more. So that's a little out of tune. So that when the springs pull back, then you are in the zero position. Okay, so I got my Music Nomad tools. Let me, uh, oops, <laughs> that's loose. So let me, take out the Allen head for the uh, Floyd Rose bridge. And I think that is this one. Yep, that's the one. Then I am also going to use the brand new uh, Music Nomad Grip One, all-in-one string winder, string cutter, and bridge pin puller, though we're not gonna use the bridge pin puller, <laughs> obviously. I really like the way this spins. This actually runs on ball bearings, so it's very smooth and very fast. Anyway, that is that. First order of business is to loosen the nut locks. Okay. Oh, before I forget, <laughs> 
since I am going to try to keep the edits as minimum as possible, you can go grab your Floyd Rose guitar and follow along. Now this will probably turn out to be a long video, but hopefully it helps you guys out, um, those of you who are frustrated with Floyd Rose string changes. Okay, so I'm going to start loosening the strings. There you go. Actually, before I forget, another step I like doing is taking off this string retainer bar right here, just so that I have unfettered access to the headstock. Okay, so there it is. And a little later on, I will show you exactly how to put this back on there. Okay, now that the strings are loose, we can cut them. I, I just like cutting them just so that uh, makes fast uh, makes for a faster string change. <laughs> this works pretty good. Okay, I like that very much. And got the ball ends. Now <laughs> I may catch some flack by uh, installing the strings backwards. Um, having the ball ends at the headstock and the main reason for this is so that I don't have any sharp ends uh, at the headstock side and therefore saves the insides of my gig bag <laughs> so that's the main reason for that Okay. Now, while I do this tedious work, I might as well tell you all about the show <laughs> tomorrow. So the show is called Pinoy Rock Review. And I am joined by my bandmates in Rock Stallion, Rafi Mendoza and uh, Mark. Rafi is the singer and Mark plays bass. And for the Pinoy Rock Review shows, we are joined by my good friend David Aguirre on second guitar. And this time we have Wolf Hemora playing drums. David's band back in the Philippines was Razorback and Wolf came from Wolfgang. And this is a fun show because we get to pay tribute to our all our Pinoy rock heroes. So we get to play the songs that inspired us to pick up and start playing in bands and eventually writing our own music. Okay. So now that the strings are off, you'll want to level the um, Floyd Rose fine tuners. And I don't really have a scientific way of doing it. <laughs> I just tweak the fine tuners and uh, check for level with my finger. That's pretty much it. And now we can take a rag and we have access to everything. You can get, you know, your favorite guitar polish. In this case, I'm using the Music Nomad guitar one. and just give the whole guitar a quick wipe down. All 
Okay, where was I? Okay, uh, Pinoy Rock Review. So yeah, we get to pay tribute to the songs and the artists that inspired us to play in the first place. If you're Filipino, then you'll definitely know the band names and the artists that I'll be rattling off in a little bit. So uh, we'll be playing some songs by uh, Juan de la Cruz, uh, Maria Cafra, uh, Anak Bayan, um, Sampaguita, and then from there we will start playing material uh, from our previous band. So there will be uh, Wolfgang songs, there will be Razorback songs, and there will be River Maya songs, Francis M songs, um, as well as uh, maybe a song or two from our uh, colleagues. Uh, I'm no, I know for sure we're playing a, a song from the Dawn. Okay. Okay, now let me check the frets. See if I just polish it with the rag. Because when I first got this guitar, I did the uh, fret polish. I don't think enough time and grime has passed to uh, warrant another fret polish. See, now it's shiny just by buffing it. So I think we're good there. And the fretboard does not look dry either. So I think we can safely assume that I don't need to take this extra step. So it just a quick dry rub down of the frets will um, do the trick. Okay, so ready for new strings. Hold on, let me put this away before I start losing stuff. Okay. <laughs> I toss packaging on the floor. But rest assured, I will be <laughs> cleaning up after myself uh, after all of this is done. Okay, so um, to measure the string length that you need, what you need to do is feed the string through the tuner posts. I can find the hole. <laughs> That's what he said. Okay, feed your string through the hole and I kink it right where the wrappings start. Okay, so, because we don't need that much. Okay, and then from here, pull the string tight until the fine tuner, right? That is enough string length for you um, for this Floyd Rose system. So, cut off the excess. Then, feed the string through the saddle block and then tighten away. Now, I cannot stress this enough. You don't have to muscle <laughs> your way when you're tightening uh, guitar parts. So what you do is you tighten it, and once you feel res uh, resistance, then you tighten it just a little bit more. Okay. That's it. And the way I check for the correct tightness is I lift the guitar body using the string itself. If uh, you're able to do this, then that is tight enough. Okay. Because if you over tighten stuff, then um, you either strip the screws or you break the string block itself. And that's no fun. Okay. Now I don't really need to do any special string locks on the uh, tuner posts because we already have our nut lock here. So I'm just gonna wind the string 
um, as I normally do. Okay, and make sure you don't over tighten the string um, right now. Then from here, we just repeat the process. Okay, kink it where the wind start. Pull tight, measure until the fine tuner cut off the excess. And again, feed it through the um, saddle with the string lock and make sure that the tip of the string makes contact with the base plate. Right there. Okay. You want to feed the string into the saddle as much as you can. Whoops. Ah. Lost the cam. There you go. That works. Okay, tighten the string. Oh, this grip winder winds so smooth. I usually use a, a motorized peg winder. You can get the, just the grip attachment uh, from Music Nomad and, and you can put it to whatever motorized screwdriver you have. But then I find that this way is a little more satisfying because you're really you're working with your hands. Okay. So, D e string. <laughs> okay, there it is. Okay, fourth string. And by now you should get the hang of this string install routine. That's good enough. It's important for me to make sure that the <laughs> the strings are secure to the bridge because I do some crazy stuff with the Floyd Rose. I mean, for me, it is one of the best inventions for guitar um, ever just because of the range of expression that you can get. Um, but yes, admittedly, it is a pain in the ass <laughs> to set up and to deal with. However, if you embrace it <laughs> for all its, uh, <laughs> for all its uh, difficulties, you are actually rewarded with some very, very cool guitar uh, tricks and capabilities so there okay
go. Now it, it gets a little trickier to lift the guitar body once you got uh, once you start getting into the skinnier strings. So just do your best to <laughs> feel it out. Okay. Okay, B string. No. See, two of them, you only need one. So at the end of all this, I will have a bunch of extra <laughs> first and second strings. Now, if you're still with me and you are following along st <laughs> changing strings on your own Floyd Rose guitar, hang in there, you can do it. We'll get, we'll get through this together. I'm rooting for you. Okay, so this is where it gets tricky. Okay, that's, that's enough. Okay, wind. Almost in the home stretch. Got one more string to go. And don't forget to kink the excess ball ends out of the way. Okay. First string. We just need one. I wish more string companies would go back to doing this. I remember when I was younger, um, Darko strings used to do this. And for a young, broke, struggling guitar player, the choice, <laughs> the choice of uh, string sets boils down to um, bang for the buck. So if you get extra strings uh, from a particular brand, then pretty much that guarantees that <laughs> that is what you will buy. So in my case, yes, I, I. Uh, I chose to play Darko strings because of the extra first and second strings that you get. Okay. Okay, especially the first string, you gotta make sure that it sits nice and deep in that uh, bridge saddle. Okay. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, wind the last string. Okay, we are done. 
Now I'm gonna go get my tuner and we will tune it up. Okay. So right now we'll just um, get this in the ballpark. Because there's a few more things that we need to do. Okay, um, let me show you how to put this back. Okay. Um, <laughs> what do you call this again? The string retainer. Okay, so the way the string retainer works is that it ensures that your string path follows the angle of the uh, locking nut. Okay, so I'm going to install the string retainer and screw it down enough so that the string makes contact with both uh, edges of the nut. Now, if you um, tighten it too much like this, then every time you unlock the string locks, you will be out of tune. So the goal is to set the string retainer so that when you lock and unlock the nut clamps, um, you will, keep your tune for the most part, okay? Okay, so, let's see. Oop, wait, wrong bit. Okay, let's start there, make sure the screw bites into the wood. Okay. And you can more or less eyeball it from here. Right? So a few more turns here and a few more turns here. Okay, a little more. Okay, so. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I can zoom in uh, in editing. So the string comes into contact with the leading edge of the locking nut and it follows the slope angle of the locking nut and exits the other side. There you go. Okay. And let's check the other side. Mm, I think I need to lower the treble side a little bit more. Whoops! Sorry, Ollie Benton. Yeah, one way to check is push on the string uh, inside the nut itself. And if you can push it down, there's still uh, room to lower the string retainer. 
on the base side. I've screwed that down um, to the perfect height. So on the treble side, there's still room to move. Okay, that did it. Okay, now we are going to put it in the ballpark again. Okay, now one thing you need to check is if the Floyd Rose bridge plate is level with the guitar body. Now, for some reason, these strings are pulling my bridge forward. So that means I need to tighten the springs in the back. Okay, let's check tuning again. Okay, bigger screwdriver. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the tremolo buddy installed, uh, touching the whammy bar, and I'm just going to put a couple of quick turns to the spring claw in the back. If I can get to it. I think I can take the trim little buddy out now. Okay, that's flush. So just fine tune. And the key to any floating tremolo is balance. You just have to, just have to find it. Which is true in life. We need <laughs> we need to find a balance in our lives. Oh. Okay, then check everything again in playing position. Okay. 
notice that everything in plain position suddenly went sharp. <laughs> okay, now check this out. Back on <laughs> flat on its back, it's back in tune. So make sure that uh, you fine tune everything in playing position. Especially if you have a very sensitive um, floating bridge. Okay, now I am going to lock the nut. And like with the saddle blocks, you don't have to use excessive force to lock the nut. Okay, so turn it until it doesn't turn anymore and just one extra squeeze. Okay, make sure you're gentle. Okay. That's it. Fine tune with the Tuners. Okay. Now, if you lock the nuts and you are wildly sharp, that means you did not set your string retainer correctly. So go back and <laughs> uh, redo it. Whoa, sorry, didn't mean to shake the table. Okay, let's plug it in and let's check out some tones. Here we go. Okay, here she is. <laughs> All strung up and uh, ready to rock. Okay, now, Next uh, couple of minutes or so, I am just going to go wild uh, on this Floyd Rose to stretch the strings out and make sure that everything is ready to go for the show. <laughs> Knock the first string out. Okay. 
Okay, ultimate test. <laughs> Now, I don't like the way the uh, high E string fine tuner is sitting. Come on, focus. Okay, there it is. It's a lot lower than the other. So I will <clears throat> go back and uh, tune it from the actual tuner. Okay, open up the nut lock and fine tune stuff. Hold on. Oop, wait. Ah, let me mute this. <laughs> it's annoying. Okay. Actually, let's let's redo everything. Why don't we? Because once I am out on tour, it might be difficult to do emergency operations. I mean, it's just one night. I'll be gone for for one night but I want it to be as stress-free as possible. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I think that's ready for the gig. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a long video. And if you're still with me, thanks for hanging in there. And I hope that this entire uh, ordeal helped you understand your Floyd Rose a little bit better. Again, affiliate links to everything I used will be in the video description. Thank you so much for your extra support. If you dug this video, please give it a thumbs up like, hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and don't forget to ring that bell. And let me know what you think about the <laughs> Floyd Rose tremolo system in the comments section below. Now click on the end card to go watch my Floyd Rose string change video in Filipino, or you can go grab your guitar and play something. Or actually, go grab your freshly strung Floyd Rose guitar and play it. You all know the drill, practice makes perfecto. Cheers, guys.